Now I'm preaching to you. The words of God in your life, though you know them, if you don't keep them in your life and keep them regenerated in your life, will gradually creep out of your life. I'm being serious. You got to stay up with them. You got to meditate on the goodness and the greatness of God both day and night, like God tells you to. I didn't put them words in the Bible, God did. So it's not me that's speaking. It's God that's speaking. I'm only reiterating his words. So God wants us to comprehend these things. He was wanting the church here at Corinth to do the same. He said, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. They think they have all of this understanding. They've got it all prescribed just the way man came into existence and it wasn't God. All forms of things. God says, I'm going to bring it to naught. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the Disputer of these of the world hath to get. Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolishness? The wisdom of the world? He said the foolish thing. Twist the wisest tail in a knot. When a bumblebee flies, the wise have no reason that he can fly. Because technically, under their category, he's got too big a fuselage for his wing power. He shortened up his wings too short. Can't get off the ground, but he does. For ages, they struggled with how in the world a hummingbird could rotate his wings enough to fly backwards. A hummingbird can fly 400 miles an hour backwards. He can fly 500 and some miles an hour forwards. But the point is, they baffle the scientists. The wisdom. It says, For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew what? Not God. Did you hear that? Knew. For by wisdom, not the wisdom of God, Wisdom of man. For by the wisdom man knew, not God. You can conjure up 
all the manner of things trying to dispose of a God and then you look around and everything shows that there is a God. God is the creator and the maker. For after in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. The foolishness of what I'm doing today, of preaching the soundness of the word of God, will bring you what? Ever? lasting life. But if you don't follow it, it won't work that way. He was trying to get the world to understand that. To comprehend God is still working with us, trying to get us to comprehend the greatness of God, the love of God, and what He wants us to follow, and it's Him. For the Jews required a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jew a stumbling block and to the Greek foolishness. What a foolish manner is there to bring you to a God reality. But it is a God reality. Jesus came and became mortal man and God at the same time. So that God could understand man. Did you know God couldn't understand you and your foolish antics? God couldn't understand man in his stupidity until Christ came. Then through Christ and all the things Christ overcame, God actually become able to know. No. Because up to that time, God had never made a creation that had a full-blown right with a devil out there to have to make a decision between. Now we have this massive decision to make. You think it's not massive? Stop and look at it. Because it entails eternity. And if something entails eternity, you better take a double look at it. Because if it's entailing eternity, and this side's not entailing eternity, and I get shut off at death, which will be coming, I better be ready for the step from here to here. And what I'm preaching to you is a step from here into eternal life which we already are living. But right now even the unsaved are still living in eternal life with opportunity. But acts when you step across this line, 
then opportunity is no more. It's over. So I'm preaching to you to make sure of where your life is found. Do all of us need to watch those forms? I guarantee you. Paul said he beat himself as though black and blue to keep himself from crossing over that line. He took it seriously. He understood. And he looked at it in a serious fashion and threw out the ways of this life. Because it said the preaching was foolishness. And it saved them that believed. For the Jews required a sign and the Greeks seeked after wisdom. But the preaching but we preach Christ crucified. Unto the Jews, it's a stumbling block and still is today. And unto the Greeks, <clears throat> it was foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weaknesses of God is stronger than men. Now if I was to look around and try to pick out a weakness of God. You'll have a lot of looking to do. You have a lot of looking to do. The only thing that I would classify as a weakness of God is that he is so wanting man to change. He gives them major perspective that's way long before he shuts the door. He waited, the Bible said, Noah and the flood till there was only one man left. On the earth. That remembered God and knew God. One man. That's letting it get. That's letting the fire on the candlestick get pretty close to going out. But other than that, there is no weakness of God. God knows, understands. But the preaching of the cross is the manner in which salvation comes. But unto them which are called, both Jew and Greek, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. So the power of God comes through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that he sent in his replacement on the face of the earth, but it comes through Christ. We have the ability to do all that God needs done and wants us to do. God was working and working still. 
But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound them which are mighty. Now, mind you, God, if he come and spoke to you to go out and take a 300,000 or 500,000 army all by yourself, and God spoke to you to do it, you know what would happen? You would get it done. 